Okay, let's see here. Um, gotta go this way. What am I? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I gotta put a new filter on. There we go. Whoa. Uh. Yeah, I'm. I'm not going that way. Uh uh. I don't think so. I want out. I want out. I went. Ah. Okay. Uh. Okay. Now why? Hey guys, this is HSW Chink and I'm just doing a quick review of both Metro 2033 and Last Light. As you can see here, the graphics, the gameplay, the lighting of this game is absolutely awesome. You can upgrade every single gun to the max. You can find special items. You can find the story. It's based on uh, best written novels in Russia. And uh, out of both games, I only ran into one glitch, which was in Last Light, when I was fighting this boss, as you can see here. He kept running and running and running. Can't hurt me. Didn't hurt me. And I did have to reset the game and load it back, but this is the only glitch that I found in both games. In both games together, it's about 25-30 hours of gameplay that you get, depending on what difficulty you play it on, of course. There's range of difficulty, where you get less ammo, um, less bullets to really record but as you saw earlier you can go in loud or you can go in silent like this in this clip here and you can play this game in many different ways and the storyline in this game is well worth playing through it is very very good and make a good movie too if they ever do that it does play the full story through two games so um, I just urge you guys to try this game out if you have not tried it yet. I think it's only $25 or $30 on um, Xbox Live. The atmosphere in it is amazing. As you can see here, there's some really good story to it. Good gameplay, excellent, beautiful graphics. And it's a great game. They're both great games. They are such good games. I'm giving this the highest score I have ever given anything in Xbox Live right now. That is a 9 out of 10. God bless, guys. I'll talk to you later.